All right, Brandon. There you go. Do the intro. That's a can of post truck. <laughs> Let's get a can of post truck. Uh, how do you do this again? It's recording. So oh, it's yeah, recording. It's recording. So you're good. Um, All right, what's up, guys? I'm here at the auto show. We got Ilya, Brandon, Marcel. So today we're here at the auto show. We're gonna check out some cool cars. What are you looking forward to see? Colorado. Colorado. You? What do you? I'd say Volvo. Marcel, what do you want to see? I come for the Lego Lamborghini. The Lego Lamborghini. I'm not going to lie, I'm kind of here to see the new Chiron and the Koenigsegg Regera. So, yeah, we're going to check them out, see what they look like, and have a good day. I got to admit, this is actually a pretty nice interior. I know. It's got a turbo four cylinder. I think okay. it's a 2.7. Not bad. And then full solar? digital yeah. the in dash, the display. Yeah, I think so. It's 310 horsepower. I think they might have even upped it this year. And it's got the Bose sound system. Okay, Troy, and look at the seats. if you're watching this, we found your next truck. Brandon, what is this? It's it's a Denali 2500 HD. Yeah, your next truck. The ultimate. So it's like only $120,000. Yeah, you're mint. You're mint. You got it. You got it. It's a pretty sick truck. Sorry, Brandon, I love you, but oh, the interior is on the Ram. I'm sorry, I think they're just the best. I guess it's cool. It's got digital dash Ram and everything. Ram has award-winning interior. I gotta admit, the interiors on the Ram this are year was pretty good. This to be better. I'm sorry, Brandon. I'm so depressed. Guys, we're here. We're gonna sit in this car and see how long it takes for us to get kicked out. We've locked all the doors, so we've been in here for two and a half hours. <laughs> yeah, no one's complained yet. Although it does kind of smell in here, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Say the flow is sounding like a mixtape. They ain't see it coming like a fast break. They ain't see it coming like Jordan hitting jumpers. Yeah, they asked me. When I knew that is a he done it now. I was like, I'm coming up, spit it like I'm on the ground. I'm coming to your city like I rock. Yeah, split the hype dog. Tell me that your record was right. This is the truck I wore. Okay, well, we found Brandon's next truck. Naya, it was a nice year and a half that you got with Brandon's Jetta, but he's back to a truck now. Imagine getting pulled over by that on the highway. You know what? Oh, what did you do? Away. Yeah, I know. Like, I know it's not real, and it's they're not actually gonna use it. It's just a loner. But still, I'm not gonna lie. If I got pulled over by this on the highway, I wouldn't be too upset. Yeah. Yeah. I would, it's I'd pretty like sad. take me in and drive me to the police station. On this. Yeah, I'd take that. That would be a fun joyride. Hundred. So now, Brandon signed up to drive, and we're gonna test drive. What was the name of it? Nissan. Nissan. Oh, no, sorry, Nissan. Some we don't even know what we're water. test driving. Know, it's, it's, it starts yeah. with an A, I know that. It's an electric Nissan. Yeah. Uh, it's the shortest line for an electric vehicle. Yeah, we didn't want to wait too long. All the other lines are kind of like an hour and a half, so we weren't waiting for it. Have you ever drove an electric vehicle before? No. So it's your first time? I'm going to break it. Yeah, I'm a little, I'm a little jealous because I wanted to drive it, but I forgot my license today, so that is what it is. No, you should drive the Prius next Yeah, okay. You know, I'm not driving that, a Prius. Were you no the way. one that drove down here? True. I love you. I love you too, mate. And then what are like charging costs for these? That's a bit of a sliding scale. So when you're charging this at home on level two, it's going to be pennies on the dollar versus gasoline. Right. When you're going down the road and you're taking advantage of the level three, which is what you use when you're going on a trip, that's ex much more expensive than level two would be. Is it gasoline expensive? No. Is it as cheap as people think? No. So what would like the average like full charge be? Well, put it this way. I drove from Vancouver to Revelstoke in an electric vehicle, and I won't say which one, and uh, which is going to be about 400 and 563 kilometers. I charged level three three times, and it was $22 to $25 each time. So it cost me about $60 in charges to go from Vancouver to Revelstoke. It is so smooth. Wow. It is. The two words that come up pretty much every time is smooth and quiet. That's actually that is, crazy. That is eerily quiet. It yeah. is. It feels a little bit better than my diesel Jetta. <laughs> a little bit better. <laughs> Just a little bit. It's about polar opposite, but... The turning radius on these are really good too. They are. Yeah, that is quite nice. 
So we just finished here at the auto show. I wanted to ask Ilya, so what was your favorite car? The whole auto show. That's a good question. Uh, from the new ones, I think it's the Hyundai concept. The oh one, yeah, you like that? The one that looked like a DeLorean. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that was sick. What about your least favorite? Least favorite? Well, pick and choose. Any Hyundai and Kia. Oh, and a bunch of trucks, sorry guys. <laughs> yeah, Brandon loves the trucks, so. Brandon, what about you? My favorite was the GMC Canyon. Oh, I or wonder the GMC why. The well, we spent we a lot of time in, in the like canyon. Twenty minutes. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah we were in minutes, there for guys. so long. It's stuck in it. We blocked out the world and it was nice and quiet. <laughs> yeah. Okay, great. Mars. And least favorite. I don't have one. I don't have any that I specifically hate. Honda Civic. The, the Hondas the weren't Honda, even there. They weren't the even Honda there. Honda Civic was there. Was like a nine, the there was one. A oh, I know which one. Yeah. Okay, okay, that one. That old Civic. Let's go with the old Civic. Okay, that's okay. fair. All right, Marcel, what about okay, you? Okay, I'd have to go with the DeLorean looking Hyundai as well. Yeah. That electric really? one. And the Ionic 5. Those were. I, I like the Ionic 5s. They're that's nice with the square lights and everything. Yeah, those were dope. Okay. And then least favorite, I would have to go with the electric Chevy Silverado avalanche looking thing. Oh, the, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You didn't like that? No. It's, I'm not going to lie. I think that's starting to grow on me because I know Brandon showed me that. Oh, I like, really like it. Yeah. I think it's starting to, like, I wasn't a fan of it at first, but it's actually starting the to GMC grow. Is it is so, over here. So He's what? like, you guys like trucks. <laughs> <laughs> the beard grows and you doesn't mean you have to like it. Okay, you know what? Relax. Fine. All right. You can't um, grow. No more. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> Anyways, the Koenigsegg Ruggiero was probably my favorite. Uh, the runner-up, I would say, was, like, the Bugatti Chiron Pure Sport. That was actually really clean. I love the dark blue that it was in with the black accents. Yeah. That was nice. Least favorite? I don't even know. What car brand do I hate? Least favorite? Subaru. <laughs> Wait, what was that? I don't mind Subaru. What was that no, 90s or that 80s Subaru concept we saw? Oh, yes. Yeah, you really with, didn't like that. That was really ugly. Which that one? was hideous. The concept in the exotic one. The brown one. B with velour had interior. The very or, ugly back. What the, do you the remember interior the interior that had like a little table in front of the... It was right next the... to the GMC. Oh, Dude, that was the yes. ugliest thing I've ever... I don't even think I took video footage. <laughs> that was the ugliest yes, thing I've ever like, seen in my entire kind of life. That 100% was the ugliest thing. Yep. What was it called? You're going to see a picture no. appearing right here. Yeah, <laughs> what was it called? I don't give a shit. I gotta look. I gotta look. I gotta look. I gotta look at. Anyways, I GM, I think GMC. we had a good day at the auto show. I mean, it was kind of sad because they didn't have a lot of brands there. There was no that's Honda, true. no nothing, Acura, nothing German. That was like no Mercedes, no yeah. BMW, no Ford, no, no Ford no too, which is crazy. Volvo. Volkswagen, Volvo, Audi, Porsche. I mean, they had a Porsche exhibit. They had the but old Porsche. They didn't. Yeah, they didn't have even the Porsche there, which was Speaking sad. Of the old. I really like the Mercedes SL, 1957. That was good. Apart from the lights, because it's a uh, US spec, which I don't like, so. Right, the US you guys spec, know. trash. Yeah. Absolute trash. Besides that, like, there were a ton of car brands missing. It was a pretty good auto show. Yeah, I guess that's a wrap for this year, and I'll see you next video. Peace. <laughs>